Well, that's right, Reed. We're out here at Cannabition, the uh, Cannabis Museum in downtown Las Vegas. Obviously, uh, everyone here is well versed on all of the marijuana laws, the laws that have been changing, it seems, almost year to year. They say this newest Nevada measure was practically inevitable. Inside Cannabition in Las Vegas, you will learn all things cannabis, including relevant history that changed the industry. The latest Nevada development includes the passage of AB 132, signed into law by Governor Steve Sisolak this month. The law prohibits employers from using marijuana drug testing as a hiring practice. This law is consistent with recreational use and it would make sense for them to follow suit. Attorney Lena Hovanesian says while the law places restrictions on hiring practices specifically, she warns it does not replace drug testing altogether. If there is any evidence or indication of being intoxicated or under the influence, then it doesn't preclude the employer for testing at that point. Back at the Cannabis Museum, curators still count the passage as a win and say employers will likely see an increase in prospective candidates. I know for some people seeing that the drug test is a deterrent for even applying to that job because they smoke weed and they don't want to risk being denied. Nevada's new prohibitive drug testing hiring law goes into effect January 1st. So AB 132 incidentally does not apply to certain emergency worker jobs, for example, firefighter, firefighters and paramedics, uh, the law would not apply in those cases. Also, it would not apply to people who drive for a living, specifically, uh, for example, school bus drivers, it would not apply. In that case, drug testing would still be required. I'm Gerard Romano reporting downtown. Now back to you. All right, Gerard, thank you.